Did you accidentally close a Word document without saving on a Mac or deleted an important document? I bet you won't want to start from the scratch again, right? So today in this video, I will explain you how you can recover the unsaved or deleted Word document on your Mac. So without further talking, let's get started with the video. To start with, we'll check the most obvious place to which files disappear, which is the trash. Open the trash folder, then look for your document. Once you have located the file you want, right click on it and choose put back to restore it to the original location. If you don't see your file, look for a recovered items folder in the trash. It's possible that your file is located in that. But if you didn't find your file, don't give up your hope, we have other methods as well. Next, we'll recover unsaved Word document from temporary folder. Your Mac also has a folder where it might temporarily keep files. To find a temporary folder, go to Applications, then Utilities, and double-click Terminal. After that, type in this command and hit Enter. Inside this temporary folder, you will find a folder called Temporary Items, where your unsaved document should be inside. Another way to recover unsaved Word document is by auto-recovery. Word for Mac has a built-in feature called auto-recover, which is turned on by default. So if you forgot to save a document, the auto-recovery feature can help you recover its previous version. On desktop, select Go, go to Folder, then enter the following path. Click Go. It will redirect you to the Auto Recovery folder. My folder here is empty because my files are saved well. But if you've got some files, then locate all the files that start with the words Auto Recovery Save Off. Then select the document you would like to recover and add the .doc extension to its file name. Double click the file to open it and then save it as a new file. And you're done. We have talked several ways to recover unsaved Word documents. If you enjoyed this video so far and would like to watch more interesting and helpful topics like this one, please click the subscribe button, it means a lot. Now let's continue to see how we can recover deleted Word documents on Mac if you have already emptied the trash or the Word document is permanently deleted. Then you can try to recover it with Time Machine Backup. Considering that our Time Machine Backup is turned on. In Spotlight, type in Time Machine and launch it. You can use the timeline on the right side to locate the lost Word document. Once you have found it, Select the document and hit the restore button. I guess you are thinking, maybe with horror, oh my, I didn't turn on Time Machine and I have no backup, what to do? Well, stay calm as we have the ultimate solution for you, which is by using a data recovery software. The one I'm using today is iMyPhone and iRecover. The reason for me to use this software is that it is available from OS 10.10 10 to 11.4. And it offers a free trial, which I like a lot. As a test, let me delete some files from my drive and then empty my trash. I have already installed any recover on my Mac, so I'll just launch it. What we see first is a clean interface with locations where I can recover data from. I'll select the drive where I deleted the files, then click start. The program will begin to search for lost data. It will take a while, just wait for it to complete. Okay, it says scan completed. On the left side, the data are neatly categorized into different file types, so we can locate the deleted files quickly. To recover the deleted Word file, just expand the document category, then look for the file we need. 
Before recovery, we can even double click the file to preview its content, which is another amazing feature that I like. Once confirmed, select the files and then recover them to a safe location. Now let's check if the files are recovered successfully. Yes, all the documents can be opened successfully, very well recovered. At last, I want to share some tips to avoid lost Word documents. Well, firstly, save often. It goes without saying that you should save frequently while working. Second is that changing the auto save frequency. By default, auto recovery saves the document after every 10 minutes, but you can change the interval to make it more frequent. Well, that's all about this video. Do give us a like and subscribe to the channel if this video was helpful and comment down below if you have any questions. Until then, see you guys next time.